Well, on this edition of Healthy OC, we'll be talking about the work being done in the fields of Alzheimer's research and caregiving. We're joined by the Chair of Memory and Cognitive Disorders at Hogue Neurosciences Institute and the Director of the Orange County Vital Aging Program, Dr. William Shankel. We're glad to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you. Yes, thanks for joining us. Talk about Alzheimer's here in Orange County. Are those numbers going up? Are they increasing uh, as much as the news reports would lead us to believe they are increasing? Well, in Orange County, um, the studies reflect very much the national average, which is about one out of every four people over 65 have some form of memory loss due to either Alzheimer's disease or some other cause. And about half of those individuals have Alzheimer's disease. So that means in Orange County, there's about 100,000 people who have the earliest stages of either Alzheimer's disease or some other treatable uh, cause of memory loss. You said treatable cause of memory loss. What, what types of treatments are we seeing now in the field of Alzheimer's? In Alzheimer's disease, we can effectively delay the progression by anywhere from 50 to 75% and that occurs at all stages of the disease. So in the earliest stage, which is now called mild cognitive impairment, uh, individuals primarily just have a memory difficulty. Mm -hmm. And um, it's progressive and it progresses to the point where they have difficulties with well-learned skills like cooking and shopping and driving and managing finances. Well, if one can catch a person in that memory loss stage, the mild cognitive impairment, and initiate treatment, then one can delay the progression by five to six years out of a total 14-year course. Mm -hmm. And that's enough to keep people independent, out of a nursing home, out of institutions, and able to enjoy the majority of what they do in life. You have gone from being a researcher to uh, the field of caregiving in Alzheimer's uh, with Alzheimer's patients. Talk about what your role is now in that field. Well, I have uh, a role as a clinician where uh, I manage um, a large number of patients who have either Alzheimer's or some other cause of memory loss or cognitive impairment. And then uh, I was also fortunate enough to be part of an international consortium to develop uh, prevention of Alzheimer's by 2020. Mm. And you may have heard recent today that they announced that they're going to try to develop effective treatment by 2025. Um, so <clears throat> that, progr that program was funded by a grant from UniHealth Foundation uh, a couple of years ago uh, called the Orange County Vital Aging Program. And its goal is to uh, help individuals uh, easily identify their risk factors so that they can be managed. And we know that that is associated with a 50% reduction in the risk for developing the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. That means a three to five year delay in the onset of the very first symptoms, which in many individuals, that means that they can live the rest of their life without too much difficulty with memory. So we've really shifted our focus from the caregiving aspects, although that's still very important and the Alzheimer's Association does a wonderful job with that as well as the Council on Aging. But also now we have the first program in the United States to actively promote uh, risk factor identification, management, and annual assessment of memory after the age of 50 years old and that's done through the Orange County Vital Aging Program. Very good, thank you so much, Doctor. We appreciate you coming.